Morning, everybody. How is everybody today? Hello, hello, hi, good morning. I am so excited. So <laughs> I am joining you guys live this morning from the new shop location. Hopefully, um, microphone is good and you guys can hear me. Oh, I would love to know. <laughs> can you hear me? Um, oh, I'm, I am, uh, it has been, it's been a journey, y'all. Woo. Um, I was very, very tempted with DAC. I know everybody's kind of rolling in from their, from the DAC launch this morning. And I was very tempted, um, especially by the puffy gator kit that you can get in rounder square. Um, but uh, I couldn't do it. I can't do it. I have so many kits. Um, speaking of, we actually moved all of them down here, which is a pro it was a process. Um, <laughs> anyway, so I will like kind of give you guys a little, a little tour of the, of the area in a little bit. Um, but yeah, um, my mom is still here. So she's upstairs working on some stuff and, um, yeah, we're just, it has been a hectic, hectic week. Um, you know, cause I've got, I've got my day job on top of the shop. And so it's just, I feel like I'm working around the clock, <laughs> but Cindy, same, added some items to my favorites for sure. Um, so I just want to really quick, like kind of scroll back and see who's here and say hello. Um, so Kimberly is joining us. Good morning. And Sarah, she said, this is my first live. So excited to be here. Well, welcome. And I'm so glad you're here. Uh, welcome in to the chaos because <laughs> it's, it's a little much sometimes. Um, but hopefully, hopefully not as chaotic because I actually have some space now to operate because I've been feeling like I know before when I would sit and and do the lives like everything was just I was like surrounded <laughs> by boxes and and inventory and things. And it was it was just a lot. Um, so I, I feel a lot better now that things are things are just a little more spaced out. I, I, it's, it's really nice. <laughs> time in the city said, uh, uh, the lives are always a good time. You may be enticed to buy something. I struggle every week. Well, even if you don't buy, we can just geek out over scents together. Cause that's my favorite thing to do is geek out over fun scented things. So, <laughs> I mean, that's the whole reason I have the shop in the first place. Um, but yeah, so welcome in. I'm I'm so glad you're here. Um, and Leah's here. Sorry, I'm getting back to my and Sharon and Sparkle and Drill Nani. I got it this time. And Pauline is here. Rosemary, Cindy. Uh, Nani says I went a little crazy on DC this morning. <laughs> and asking what everybody got. Uh, Jessica says. Good at morning, afternoon. Yeah, it's morning for me still, technically. I did already have my coffee today because I actually woke up at a decent hour and slept last night. Can you believe it? And um, so I just have a diet coke. Um, but caffeine source still, I guess. Um, <laughs> nothing like a just ice and a diet coke. I just can't. The hair, it's, it's a terrible habit, but, and I hear, I've heard many times people say it gives them headaches and I actually have a headache today. So I'm like, probably, I don't know, but that's a debatable topic. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like I could open a can of worms with that, but all right, let's see who else is here. Who else is here? I'm, I'm behind as usual. I'm four minutes behind on comments. Y'all. So just <laughs> bear with me. Oh gosh. Um, Let's see. Morgana and Cindy, Sherry, Mary, hi dear, and Nani, hello. And and Leslie is here and Angelique, Tammy. She's oh, Cindy saying she loves the new setup. Yeah, Nani, those are all that is my entire inventory of cover minders. Actually, there's a little bit more. Oop, there you go. There's all the cover minders. So um I had this board sitting the other way. Um, and then there's like an electrical panel box that I really want to cover with the diamond painting. And I have just the one I want to cover it with. So it's going to be my next whip. We'll get there. Um, 
But yeah, so I had this board standing the other way. It's just a dry erase board, just standing up on the ground, leaned up against a wall. And like anytime I would need something from the bottom of the board, I was having to like bend down and get it and try to find things. And it was just a lot more difficult than having it up on the wall. But my mom and I hung that bad boy ourselves. So I was really proud because <laughs> I'd never like anchored something into drywall before. So I was like, a little concerned that I was going to mess it up, but we did a great job. It worked really well. And then, yeah, so I will take you on a little tour of the space in a little bit, but until then I want to get to release stuff first, but, um, okay. So Karen says, hello, everyone. Sharon says she got the puffy gator and the spangler. I know I was tempted. Jennifer is here and Lauren is here. She's saying hello to everyone. Happy Saturday. <laughs> Happy Saturday for real. I needed a day off. Um, new space looks great. Thank you so much. Um, Sean is here. Howdy, everyone. She says Mary Ann is here, and she said it's her first live. Well, welcome in, Mary Ann and Sarah. Um, Oh, so Elisa's also here, the diamond stitcher. Um, she says hello, and she almost forgot to the drop time. Thank gosh she snagged Puffy Gator. I know I really like that one. Um, Leah got the Puffy Gator as well. Yeah, I think that one was that one was big. Did it sell out yet? I'm surprised if it didn't. Um, yeah, so Sean. Sean said that her absolute new favorite scent is the fresh brewed coffee. The stronger the scent, the better. It smells like my coffee does have a bit of a sweet scent. Let me tell you, that coffee is so strong. Like, I didn't realize how strong it was. And I'm a little bit concerned that some of you guys are going to be upset with it. And so I, I think I'm going to maybe, like, tone down the oil I use next time. Because I use a pretty standard amount for most oils. And I usually start with a certain amount and then I go from there. And um, I started with a little bit less of my certain amount and it was still too strong. So I'm sorry about that. I probably I probably should have toned it down a little bit because like for me, the, the coffee, anytime I was packing orders, if the order had the coffee in it, the entire order just smelled like the coffee. Like I could just smell it coming out of there. Not that it's terrible. I mean, it's kind of nice to have a strong one because you can smell it while you're working, but. <laughs> yeah. So Lauren said, I loved it. I could actually smell it. So she, um, has the, um, uh, the, the residual effects of not being able to smell very well, uh, because of COVID. So <clears throat> Devin Arnish says, I love a strong center. You restocking coffee. I missed it. Um, I will eventually it's not restocking today, but I can always bring it back for sure. But, um, Make sure you, if you are not in the Facebook group, definitely go head over to the Facebook group and join there because that's a really great place to um, to make those scent requests because then I have it kind of all lumped into one spot. But let me go back because I missed a few comments. I always do because I get to talk in. Heather's here. She said good morning to me and to everyone else. And welcome in, Heather. I'm glad you're here. See, I'm reading. Um, oh, Mary got Randall Spangler and Melting Earth. Sean says she's safe from releases too. April P says she, I loved the apricot sugar. I know last week was a really good week for scents. Like we had a lot of really good scents, and there's still just a few left from last week. Um, two restocks, and then just a few of the margarita ones, the shaker of salt putties. Um, it's only a couple though. Let's see. Stephanie is here. She said good afternoon. She's strolling in late today. No worries. You haven't missed anything at all. <laughs> Sean says, no, I love how strong it is. So strong. Um, Sharon said, I love the coffee one. Strength is perfect for me. I feel like if you love coffee scents, you love it, period. But Nani says, cupcakes at Tiffany smells better than she thought it would. It's amazing. It is awesome. I really like that one, too. Tamara's here. Hi, dear. How are you? Elisa says, sorry, I've been kind of MIA and quiet lately. She's struggling with her surgery healing. Girl, no worries. You take care of you. That's number one. 
Diamond earners, <laughs> a special request for that. I need to join the group. Go ahead, join the group. Just make sure you answer the questions. Um, Cause we just kind of use those to kind of screen and make sure that people are legit. Cause we've definitely already had a few spammers. Emma says your smelling ability is still a tad off from getting COVID twice. Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry. And Stephanie said, oh my goodness, can we just talk about how good Shaker Salt smells? It's really good. I like that one a lot. They're all good. Like last year, last week's scents were really good. Orchata is still my favorite. And I'm like, nobody's talking about the Orchata, but don't sleep on it. <laughs> see, who else is here? I'm sorry. Special request for that. Um, oh, Wonders Natures. Hi, dear. How are you? Good morning. I am. Hair's still wet. Still getting used to it. It's cold down here. That is the one thing about being in the basement is a little, it's a little bit chilly right now. Um, there's like a little temperature gauge over there and it's measuring 65 degrees. Um, so there's a little bit, a little bit chilly. Um, but you know, I, I know I'm in a basement, but we have beautiful windows and there's lots of light and I feel like actually, and I mean, I, I feel like I can see me better than I usually can. The lighting is better down here, which you would think moving from an upstairs room to a basement, that wouldn't be the case. But, um, anyway, but yeah, I don't know. I'm really happy down here. I keep looking out the window. If I keep looking up that way, it's because I'm looking out the window. Um, and it's just nice. Like I can see, we have kind of a fence that, that runs our whole backyard. And so I can like see the edge of the fence and there's always like squirrels up on the edge of the fence. And I think they're, they're so cute. Um, yeah, I do have a space heater down here. Um, and so I will like, I'll come down here and turn it on in the morning and then go back upstairs and get my coffee and then come back down. <laughs> um, so there is a space heater. I just didn't, um, I don't like to have it on during the lives because it's kind of loud. And I'm like, I don't know if the, the technology would like tune it out or not. So, but Karen, you and me both, she said she really wanted the puffy gator, but just really holding back have way too many. Um, Oh, Sarah asked, what is the scent of on Wednesdays? We wear pink. I can't place the scent. I'm thinking berries. So I think it, I listed it in the description, but there's like fruit up front. And then it's, um, I, I mean, I'll just be transparent. I used uh, uh, Magenta Magic is the name of the fragrance oil that I used. Um, and I'll probably release that one as Magenta Magic and just like make sure y'all know it's also on Wednesdays we wear pink. So I will like rebrand it and, and re-list re it at some point, um, just like away from the the on Wednesdays we wear pink logo but um but yeah it smells really good though I like it I hope you like it I hope you like it let's see hey Kimberly how are you and Brandy Hall is here Brandy your ears must have been ringing because we were just talking about cupcakes at Tiffany's being better than people thought it was going to be <laughs> Stephanie said, one more thing, Flash wasn't even on my radar until I saw your sneak peek. Oh, that's great. You know, when when they asked if I would preview that one, I, I was like, you know, obviously I'm always so grateful. And I said, you know, thank you. I'm not sure because I don't know much about the Flash. And so I thought about it for a little bit and I was like, okay, I'll take it. Like I'll, 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 I'll do my best, you know? And then when I got it in and I opened it up, I was like genuinely excited about it. And I was like, I kind of want to do this kit like soon um because it's a little smaller it's a little bit more of a manageable size and i just like the colors are nice and bright and fun and i didn't feel like it was as confetti heavy as the image led me to believe it would be and so the whole thing was just like i i love this like i really love this kit um i was actually surprised i was genuinely surprised at how much i ended up really liking it when i opened it up so Let's see. Where are we? Where are we? Okay. Um, Stephanie says, okay, I'm done. <laughs> I did the same thing. I'm just like, I have to tell you all the things right now. Um, oh, Mary said she's loving the fold over paper on the putty. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I'm loving it too, because it's made making putty a little bit faster for me as well. Um, it's just really helpful to, you know, only have to cut one piece instead of having to cut all of those pieces again. Um, yeah, so it's, it's been really helpful for me. And I think it's also helpful for you guys. And if you don't like it, you can always just cut it on the seam and it'll be just like it used to be. It'll be the same measurement. So, 
Um, feel free if you need to do that. Go ahead, <laughs> you can cut it. Um, but let's see. Okay, I'm catching back up here. Um, Sherry Lynn says horchata. Need more of it. I'm telling you, I'm gonna use that on my next whip. I don't care if it matches or not. I'm using it. <laughs> um, Lauren says she keeps her house at 65. No, ma'am. No, we keep it at 68 usually. 68 is our sweet spot. But um, in the summertime, it's on like 70 because otherwise the air would just run constantly and we would have no air conditioning left. Um, Jessica says she's loving the new setup. I am, I am loving it too, girl. Me too. <laughs> but thank you. Let's see. Uh, Sharon said horchata is the best. I know. Angelica said, I got the Puffy Gator. It will be my first ever Puffy Gator. I don't own any Puffy Gators from DAC, but I have one from Distracted by Diamonds. <laughs> I was like, what's the word? I have two from Distracted by Diamonds. I have the Christmas Kitty, I think, and then the Pride Kitty. I wanted to do the Pride Kitty this year. but <sighs> Um... Brandy said her cats keep stealing her cover minders. I have to find a new place for them. I can't find three of them. Oh no, they are a good, they're a good toy. Um, but maybe without the magnet on the back, because that would be the only thing that would scare me is if they got a hold of a magnet and they swallowed it, that can be really damaging. So make sure they don't get the magnets that scares me. I'm not trying to tell you how to parent your cats. <laughs> it just makes me nervous. And whenever my cats, my cats are obsessed with rubber bands and all of the baggies that I buy, like, like these baggies, they all have rubber bands around them when they come in. And I literally, I, I have to either put them in a sealed box that they can't get into or throw them away because they just want them. They want to eat them. It's wild. Sherry said she needs another lost a shaker of salt. Smells fantastic. I have a few. There's a few more left, and there's a couple bundles left, I think. But let's see. Angelique said, "What is the boo you? What is the boo you for one? I love it. Um, I'm trying to remember the name of the fragrance oil, and I can't remember it. I think it might have been called Lunar Eclipse, which like doesn't really fit the theme, but the scent of it, I felt like was." Fit the theme so. Nani says, "I got a candle that's cranberries and mandarin that smells really good. I do have a cranberries and mandarin. I'm, I'm, but I'm going to do it closer to fall, probably. Also, I hope you're able to do Mary Mud in that scent and make a great fall scent. Definitely put that request in the Facebook group. I think you're in there, right? Um, if you put that in the, there's a. Kimberly started a new thread that." just all the scent requests. So if you have a scent request, it'll be great to put it in there because then if people like it, I know that that's a good one to, to start bringing out sooner. Um, but Francesca's here. Hi, dear. How are you? She said she's just popping in this Saturday morning. No worries. Rose, <laughs> I got sinister wings in Venus. Hubby's going to kill me. Jessica said, the Flash is going on my wish list. He's the only DC hero I like. No, Batman. I love Batman. Um, I'm talking to a child that makes me want to drink one. Oh, so good. Oh, I didn't know that Flash was limited edition. That's good to know. I have. I didn't even look at... I. If I go on there and I start looking at them, I will just buy them. And I need self-control right now we moved all of my kids downstairs and it was a chore oh cindy said she wanted to say thank you for unboxing kevin's creation stuff a few weeks back been watching their shop since then and yesterday was out, able to snag three pens that's awesome i i am really impressed with their pens like i i am really finicky and picky about my pens i know that sounds really crazy but Sometimes you just like find something that works for you and you just stick to it. And so for me, the two pen shops that I shop from are the Kevin's Creation and Butterfly Effect Course. Like so those two are, I, I, I can't get enough of either one of them. 
but but you're welcome and and thank you for supporting them because i i am a big fan they're really great let's see love a coloring she loves horchata yes they're so good and he said they're leaving the magnet okay good horchata and shaker salt amazing how does everybody like the pineapple paprika did you guys get that one in i really like it <gasps> flash is also 35 percent off right now i'm sorry spice is at my feet and so and petting him um Oh, April said she works at a vet and can confirm how many surgeries we have to do on poor kitties um, with rubber bands, hair ties, string, et cetera. I know. It scares the crap out of me. I like immediate. As soon as I see them playing with a rubber band, I feel bad, but I just take it. I do have some hair ties that are like really thick and they don't like, they don't tend to try to eat those. So I let them play with those as long as I'm watching because I'm fine with that, but. Let's see. So Jessica's working on a puffy gator painting, Halloween cat. Oh, oh, I have that one too. So I guess I have three. <laughs> I forgot. I have so many. <laughs> um, speaking of, Lauren said, how many kids do you have now? Girl, I don't know. Um, I didn't count them, but I would say it's it's definitely three digits, but it starts with a one. Like it's it's not at 200, but it's, it's more than enough kits that I would never be able to do in my lifetime. So, Dama says she loves the pineapple paprika. They're, they're really great. Dama says she loves all three of the ones she won. Very surprised because it wasn't familiar with any of those items. That's awesome. Yeah, because the, the shaker of salt is just like a play on the Jimmy Buffett song, Search and Form, I Lost Shaker of Salt, in Margarita Bill. So, it smells like a margarita. It's all it smells like, but, but horchata is top notch um speaking of orchata it has cinnamon in it and we have a couple of scents that have cinnamon in them today and i think that we should probably get to shop stuff because we've been i've been yakking for 20 minutes now <laughs> and we haven't done anything for the shop so before i sit down with you guys um i always make sure i just grab one of everything this is all the stuff we have to go through today it's a lot so I want to start really quickly with some Coverminder restocks. So I have a bunch of Coverminders that are restocking today. When I went, like, when we moved the shop, I found so much stuff. I didn't even know I had, y'all. Like, I'm like, this is wild. So I have a lot of restocks of um, a lot of the clearance minders, and they should still be on clearance. Um, if you notice that they're not, let me know. But they should still be on clearance. If you are wanting to combine a discount code with the clearance, it will take the clearance price off and justify your discount code. So feel free to place two separate orders, one for clearance and one for other stuff, and I will combine your order. So that being said, I have a few more of these little baby princesses left. There's not very many, and I'm trying really hard to get away from like Disney and licensed stuff as much as I can, but I have to go through my stock um until that time so that being said sorry spice is still down at my feet he's he literally sat on my foot he's very cute um anyway so i'm trying to like i said get away from like licensed things um and so that's why i've been you know slowly kind of going through the shop trying to put some things on clearance and so these little disney looking princesses are going to be half off so I can just get them cleared out in a way so we have the little one that looks like Alice. Oh, also if you are starting to get some cover minders with these white backings, these will be the new backings. They're kind of a, a little stiffer. They're just they're just a little more friendly to uh, not getting so wrinkled and messed up. So um, and also they match everything because they're just plain white. So you'll start seeing these in some of the new cover minders. But as you can see most of them still have the purple backings on them. So it, it might start interchanging here. But um, so we've got our little Alice and then um, Snow White is restocking and our little fairy. So these are the only three I have coming back. I think I have one mermaid left. One. And then these three. So they're back today. I have a bunch of them, y'all. Like a lot of those. So um 
we have you got it dude i just left these in the package instead of pulling them out because it gets a little difficult but um if you need to see anything more closely let me know anyway so we got you got a dude from full house and we have our little taylor swift she's very cute so she's coming back today and let's see what other license type things do i have branded things we've got our chick-fil-a cup these went really really fast and there's a few more of them so i listed those these this is the um cow print chick-fil-a cup so cute and strawberry shortcake she's back to there's just a few of her um, so actually I noticed when these came in that these are the exact same cover minder, but instead of holding the cat, like on one side, she's holding the cat on the other side, but I don't think you guys will care, um, the orientation of where she's holding the cat. So I just listed them, <laughs> but yeah, so we have our, I think there's more Chick-fil-A. Yeah. Here's another Chick-fil-A one with waffle fries. And every time I look at these though, I get hungry y'all. Like, I get hungry. I'm like, <laughs> I love chicken. I love their waffle fries and their Polynesian sauce. I just can't. Ugh. I love chick fil -A. I know, I know that there's a little controversy behind what they support, but at this point, I have to separate the art from the artist because their food is art and I love it. Okay. Um, <laughs> we don't like, I mean, I try not to bring up politics here because it just gets, things get messy. Um, but I eat their food because I like it. I'm bringing you guys a little closer. But I eat their food because I like it. And, you know, it, that's all I'll say. Okay. <laughs> anyway, we have a little reading rainbow. I love this one. So nostalgic. I have a lot of nostalgic cover renders. Um, I've noticed. I'm a very nostalgic person. So, um, Sarah, those did go really fast. The little um, Starbucks cups went really fast. And um, I will restock those. Uh, and I actually, you know what? They went faster than I thought they would. My friend who helps me with the shop, um, she, like, comes over just once a week and, and just helps me with whatever I need help with, whether it's making a bag, make a putty, make a cover binder. She just does stuff. Um, so she makes a lot of the cover binders. And she was begging me to release those. And I was like, all right, let's do them. Like, I was like, I don't think they're going to be that big a deal. Everybody loved them. She's like, I told you. <laughs> and I was like, I know, I was wrong. So I will order uh, some more of those. Um, but let's see. Uh, really quickly, let me go through the rest of these and then I'll, I'll get back to chat. So we've got, we've got Buffy, our little Buffy heart. This was funny. So my mom and I were packing these last night, actually, and um, and she uh, and she was like, "Oh, I loved this show," and I was like, "You watched Buffy? Like, I had no idea." Um, so it's been really nice like, having my mom here. I'm learning. I'm learning things that I didn't even know, you know. Um, but she's like. Like, so the reason that she's here, she lives in Florida and she's just been visiting, um, visiting, uh, she came up here to help me with the house because I'm doing so much between my full-time job and the shop that I just feel like I really haven't had the time to like, really settle into our place. We have so much old junk that I need to go through. And so she's helping me with all of it. Yesterday, we went through all of the bins from, um, from our wedding, which was in February of 2022. Okay. So it's been like a year and a couple of months since we got married. And like, we still had bins of stuff from the wedding that we never even unpacked. And I'm like, this is wild. It's time. Um, so anyway, so she's been helping me go through all of that and we still have so much more to go. So I think she'll be here for a couple more weeks at least, but it's been a huge help and it was really fun. Anyway, I just had a good giggle that my mom had to watch Buffy. It was surprising to me. Anyway, and then the last three cover minder restocks I have are the Bob's Burgers ones. Um, we have a few more left of Miss Tina over here doing her little twerking thing. I love this one, and it's been the least, like, good seller, and she's my favorite character. Um, I don't know. It's between her and Linda. Linda's also my favorite. They're all my favorite. I love them. And then the one with everyone is also here. So, um, so these are back. Um, what was I going to tell you guys? Okay, let me go back to the the um 
the chat. So Tammy said Tinkerbell, too cute. She's too cute. I think she's my favorite one of those little princesses. She's just adorable. Um, Heather said it's 1230 where I'm at. What time is it where you are? Oh, so it's 1130 for me. So I'm an hour ahead or behind you. Um, so I'm on central time. And then um, so my, my, the restock will be at noon, my time. So one o'clock yours, but. But yes, restocking Starbucks cover reminders. Um, Rose said she's never eaten them because of her kiddo, but she doesn't shun anyone for eating that. Yeah, exactly. Like, we just, I gotta eat it. It's so good. Um, McCullery says she loves Chick fil A cover reminders and see mom life. The Reading Rainbow song is uh, gonna be stuck in my head. Take a look in a book, the Reading Rainbow. Um, <laughs> Now it's going to be stuck in everyone's head. You're welcome. Um, yep, and Lauren said it too. Take a look in a book. It's a reading rainbow. Um, <laughs> Leslie said, I regret not getting one of those Starbucks cups. I will order more. Um, <laughs> Rose said, Buffy is life. I'm just saying. <laughs> Tammy, I used to watch Buffy as a kid. I loved it. Yeah, I never actually watched it. I, I think I've seen bits and pieces of episodes, but I feel like that might be one of those shows that you kind of have to watch from the beginning as a series, right? Like, the, the storyline is continuous. Like, those shows are tough because, like, you want to step in and just watch them, but they're not like a sitcom. Like, you have to start at the beginning. Um, <laughs> Rose said she just celebrated her four-year wedding anniversary, happy anniversary, and found a box of wedding stuff, moved it across the room to the other closet. <laughs> and that's what I've been doing. Like, I feel like I've just been shuffling stuff around the house and nothing is like, we had a bag, I kid you not, in our coat closet that we had, like, we had taken a trip to Michigan for one of my friend's birthdays last year. And there was like a half drank bottle of vodka, some cups. Like, I kid you not, this is how bad it is some cups and like some other random things in this little like tote bag we never unpacked it and that trip was in august uh, all right uh, august like who are we i'm like uh, we are slobs anyway <laughs> and i'm like this place is a mess um but it's been really nice like it's it felt very cleansing too to like get rid of things clear things out, get organized. Like, and my mom is so, so good at that. And it is so, Leslie, you're right. Like, I'm so, so blessed that she's here and willing to help and like willing and able, right? Like, I I am very blessed. Like, it's been, it's been a dream. I'm, I'm loving it. But anyway, um, let's see. Boxes of stuff in a closet from our wedding in 2017. Yeah. And I'm like, I am going to keep a box of stuff from our wedding because it's who I am as a person to be nostalgic and sentimental. And I will keep stuff. So, but it's a matter of like, I'm talking my wedding shoes and my dress and David's like suit were literally thrown into a crate and just left. Like, I, there's no organization to it. I still had like, I put bowls of candy out on the tables. Like I made my own. I was like looking at all this stuff yesterday. And I was like, I was one crafty bee for this wedding, but um, I had a great time, you know, doing that kind of stuff. Cause that's, that's my wheelhouse. I love making things. And, um, and so sorry if you can hear a little talking. Cause there's like stairs here and my mom's upstairs. And she's talking to my husband. And so there's like a little bit, if there's a little bit of background, but anyway, um, <laughs> so if, I, I, like I had these like containers, like little candy dishes on each of the tables with like Hershey kisses and like little buttermints on them um, because we're food people. Everything's about the food. And um, but yeah, I put these candy dishes out. I still had those candy dishes with some of the candy left in them all thrown in a bin. I'm almost like, like the Hershey kisses were no longer good. I'm like, <laughs> we need to clean this. It was great. It was bad. <laughs> um, anyway, let's see. Sarah said, yeah, you have to watch Buffy from the beginning. Okay. Well, someday, someday when I'm old and gray and I'm, all I have to do is diamond paint, then I will watch Buffy from start to finish. <laughs> we'll make that deal when I'm retired at 65. Four years this July. Nice. She said she DIY'd everything. Yeah. You gotta. It's the way to go. Anyway, um, more resex. Let's let's do it. 
Tim said I got a box in my garage rafters for my wedding and I've been divorced seven years. <laughs> That's awesome. It, you know, we're all a family here. No one's alone. Um, Oh, Melanie, that's awesome. She said she gave her wedding dress to a shop that provides for low-income brides after 15 years of feeling obligated to keep it. Such a relief. That's really sweet. Mine is, um, no one would want to wear mine because mine got filthy because we, after our wedding, we went and we got married in Key West and we went and walked like, uh, what is the name of that street? Duval. We went and walked Duval Street and did karaoke and all the things. And we were out until like 2 a.m. So the bottom of my dress got annihilated, I guess is what I would call it. And I don't even know if it would clean out. I'm not sure. So uh, unless they chopped it off. But <laughs> Jessica says she's hoping the dumpster fire cover under restock soon. I missed it. I can bring that one back. Um, you feel free if you want to like message me or even in the Facebook group, if you want to like um, put a request like for cover minders in like the restock request um, thread, feel free to do that. Um, so we have a lot to get through and um, I am just talking so much today. Um, so we also, I'm restocking this little guy, which is um, like the, it looks like the little Pyrex bowl, but it's called, uh, grandma's class mixing bowl. But speaking of that one, I have a new cover minder dropping today that matches that one. And I'm obsessed. And I think you guys are going to be too. If you liked that one, it's a stack of the mixing bowls and it's pink. How cute is that? So it matches these from before. And then I have the casserole dish too. And there's just a couple of the casserole dish left. I'm like, I can, here's the casserole dish. So, so these are the three that I have total, but look at the cute new one today. I love this one. I love those retro ones. They're so stinking cute. Anyway, so that is coming today. And then let's get into cover minders coming today. These are new ones. So we have this one. It's a little bumblebee. Perfect for spring. I just thought he was so cute and he kind of sparkles like he's sparkly. And then um, in our kitty series, we have like, I have a little series of kind of cartoon-ish kitties. And I think that he is so cute. Um, we couldn't decide if he was yawning or laughing. And I was like, I'm going to say he's yawning. I think that's a yawn. Um, anyway, so we got that kitty. Um, I do have a dog coming today. So get excited. I'm trying to find the other kitty. Kitty, here he is. Okay. He's on a purple backing. I don't know. We were kind of in between. That bee is so cute. Um, here's the other little cartoon kitty. He's just a little orange kitty and he's chunky and I love him. So we have him. And then I had a request for this one in the Facebook group. Sorry, my nose is like, I feel like I got to sneeze. Um, I had a request for this one in the Facebook group and, um, and, and here he is, it's, it's Harry Styles in all his glory. So this is the one I have for Harry Styles. I already had this one on the way. So, um, here he is, he's released. We have Harry Styles today. Um, let's see what else we have. We've got this adorable little cactus with pink hearts and I'm obsessed. It is so, so cute. So much hair anyway <laughs> so this little guy need harry well you can get him girl you can get it um okay what else we got what else um these are bundle ones so i'm gonna save those for the last all right look how cute this little guy is um he's little curious george and i love him so much i didn't name him curious george because i didn't want to get in trouble um but he is i he's Lovable monkey, I think is what it's called. Um, he is so cute. <laughs> Isn't he cute? I love him. I loved Curious George as a kid. Like, loved. I might have to keep one of these for myself. I didn't technically keep one of him for me, but um, I should. So, in our Shaker Magnet series, there's still a few of the froggies left. I do still have a few of those. And then look! He's a panda! 
So this is shaker glitter in it. So when you shake it, the glitter goes. Um, but it's a panda. Isn't he cute? He's so chunky. Anyway, I love this one too. Love the panda. Love, 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 love. Um, I like y'all. I did not understand the appeal of cover minders until I started this shop, and now I want them all. And I like I don't even really use them for the the painting. Part. I mean, I guess I do, but I use the trash drill cover minders more, but I'm so obsessed with these. I just have them out because they're cute. And I have a board with all my cover minders that y'all Dollar Tree has little magnet boards. You can get as many as you want and like put up all your cover minders and separate them by, I'll have to show you guys um, on the next live. I'll, I'll bring my cover minder boards and we can talk about cover minders. But anyway, I have a cat and a dog. Um, I wish I could find a dog that is like this because this one is so cool. But this one's a pretty long-haired kitty, and he's rainbow, and I love him. I'm telling you guys, dogs are really hard to find, but I do have a pupper dropping today. And look how sweet he is. Look at those beans. I love him. I love him. Brittany Hill said that's what she uses. I know, right? The little... Boards from Dodger. Anyway, how cute is this puppy? I can't. I can't. I can't. He looks like a little stuffed animal and I love him so much. Okay. So I think that's all the new cover minders with the exception of a few um, coming in for bundles. So because these bundles are restocked scents that you might already have, I did do some of the cover minders as a bundle and then some on their own. So you can buy all of these separate this time. Um, so first off, we have this cute little kitty that you guys have seen before um, in the little cup. And this one is a bundle with, if I can find it, grape soda. So, so here's our grape soda and here's our little kitty. So this is a bundle together or you can just get the kitty on its own, um, the kitty in a cup. So Grape soda is also one of our scents restocking today. I'm not going to open you guys and show you all of the putties today because we don't have time. But just so you know, grape soda is restocking today. So that is one bundle. And then you can get either the cover minder or the putty on its own as well. Um, then we have this beautiful cover minder. I'm really obsessed with this one. It's really, really pretty. And this one, if I can... Pull out the scent. Obviously, I think um, I think you guys know what this is. It's a lilac. It's a lilac flower. And I just thought that is too, too perfect to pair. So I had to do it. But isn't that pretty? I love them. Um, anyway, so you can get this on its own, this on its own, or you can bundle them together for a dollar off. So. Lilac is restocking today. This one just it smells like a lilac bush, and the grape soda smells like grape soda. Soda. <laughs> Rose said lilac mine. Okay. And then, so it's it, the lilac is nice. I, I'm not crazy about floral scents, and you guys know that. So take it with a grain of salt. I'm like, the lilac's nice. It, it is nice, though. My favorite floral scent that I have, I have two, is the lily of the valley and the sunflower, though. Those two are my, those two are my favorite. For someone who's not big on florals, those are good options, I think. Anyway, so we have this cover minder. I bet you can't guess what that's releasing with. Which, P.S., the other gumball machines, those 3D ones that I did with the, like a few weeks ago with bubble gum, um, those, I have, I have more of those coming in and they just delivered the other day, but I haven't had time to make them into cover minders. So those will come back eventually as well and will be available for sale on their own. But until then... I love, this one's my favorite. I love it so much. But this one is releasing on its own along with bubble gum. So this one is a bundle as well, or you can get each one on their own. And bubble gum is one of my, probably one of my top tens. So yeah, we got 15 minutes and we have, um, I've showed you three putties. We have 16 putties to go through. So these are in alphabetical order um, because that's the order that they're in on the board um, because it helps me when we're packing when I have 19 cents releasing in a day. So 
There are 19 scents coming back today. These are all scents that have already been released on the shop. There's nothing new coming today, but this is an opportunity for anybody who's new to the shop to get past scents they may have missed or for you to restock on something that you really loved or to try something out that maybe you didn't try before. So I try to like, I tried to do a lot of scents on restock day so that you guys have options and can pick from them. So, um, and if there's anything that you really want to come back, I will do a poll each month in the Facebook group of the ones that I'm considering. And then however that poll lays out, I kind of how I determine which ones to restock. But on that poll that we did this month, the only two that are not restocking today are the sweet milk and the jelly beans because the votes were just too low on those. So here's where we're at. And it's not a vote of which one's your favorite. I prefer if you vote for the ones that you would like to purchase because it helps me know what to actually bring back, right? Because um, if it's your favorite, that's great. But if it's your favorite and you already have one, then maybe you don't want to purchase it. So if you keep in mind, like, what, what am I going to grab? That would be great. But anyway, that's for the Facebook group. Let's get into it. We've got almond cake. I will say that the color of this one didn't come out quite like I wanted it to, but it's not horrible. Um, but it's cool. So I am going to show you this putty just so you can see what the color looks like this week. I'm telling you, every time I make these, the color looks different and it looks different from previous batches, but the almond cake is really nice, super strong almond flavor. And see, it's kind of like a, I tried to mix brown and yellow and it just kind of came out looking like a banana. I don't really know. Um, but I mean, if you mix the big old almond cake up, I guess that's what it looked like. Um, but it smells good, and that's the point, right? I think once you're using the putty, like, no one really cares what it looks like, I don't think. But anyway, so there's the almond cake. It smells lovely. Um, so there's our A's. For B's, we have, I know this one's a really big popular um, request, is banana split. And I am going to show you this one as well because it... Um, this one came out a little different than I wanted it to as well. But I think it's kind of cool. It kind of looks like all the toppings of a banana split all melted together. So that's what it that's what it looks like. Mm, it smells so good. This is one of my favorites. I know it's one of Mia's favorites. She really wants more of it. She said she used it all up. Um, I don't think she's here today. I haven't seen her yet. But anyway, here is the here's the banana split. It smells lovely. It smells like banana and maybe a little chocolate and ice cream. Mm, I love it. I love it. One of my one of my tops as well. So banana split is back. Let's see what else we got. I'm restacking them. Uh, we also have. So I'm gonna stop showing you the putties now. We also have blueberry pie, and this one's not in the bag because I did all the bags for them, and I realized that I ran out of the blueberry pie oil because it was in a really, really tiny bottle. So I have more delivering to me <laughs> tomorrow morning, and I'm going to make it for you guys because it was a popular request. So no worries. If you order banana pie or blueberry pie, I promise I will make it. So we got blueberry pie. It's blue. It's nothing fancy. Um, I am going to show you this putty as well. We have buttercream. So this one came out a little bit different and probably prettier than it used to be. Um, so I'm excited about that. It's really sparkly and really fun and I love it. Buttercream smells like the vanilla icing that you put on a birthday cake. So if you're looking for a birthday cake scent, buttercream is the way to go because it smells, it smells like straight up birthday. But can we talk about how pretty it came out? Isn't it pretty? I love it. My, I was looking, I was like going for sprinkles and I kind of got there and I love it. It's, it's hard to see on the camera, but it's sparkly and I love it. Um, there's not a lot of comments. Are you guys all like just writing down what you want? Is it, <laughs> I'm like, where is everyone? Are you guys still here? Can y'all hear me? I'm like clap once if you can hear the sound of my voice. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm obsessed with the buttercream. It came out prettier than it was before. Okay, Brandy's here. She said gorgeous. Okay, I'm glad you like it. <laughs> I got nervous because I haven't heard much from y'all in a minute. We're all just nervous because the release is coming up in 10 minutes. Okay, a another popular request was the buttered croissant. This one was, new was one that was one of my original releases in my shop because I wanted to do something different and weird. And um, all of these are in sample size too, and I didn't forget the sample listing today. So it should all be there. Um, Stephanie says she's writing stuff down. 
Oh, hey, Nicole, how are you? She says she loves the new setup. Thank you. Hey, I emailed your customer service, by the way, about, um, about some fun stuff. And uh, hey, guys, stay tuned after the release because we're going to talk putty storage. And it has to do with Bella Arte Nicole. So shh, just get excited. Okay. Anyway. Ha. Ah, okay. I have to go fast because we don't have much time. So we have buttered croissant. This one it smells yeasty. It smells bready. It smells like a buttered croissant. So if you don't like savory smells, maybe not your choice. It's weird. It's an oddball scent, but people love it. There's also a really special one that I did bring back today. Now I did start kind of reevaluating the value of how much time it takes me to make some of these. And the ones that take me a lot of time, y'all, I have to just kind of do a little upcharge on them. So Cheshire Cat Farts is one of the only ones that is doing an upcharge today because it takes me for forever um, to make. But here it is. Here she is. It's back. It's one of our Alice in Wonderland scents. I had a lot of requests to bring this one back, so I decided to bring this one back. And um, if we want to bring back the bundles at some point, we can do that. It was a special I did for an event, and if we really want to bring them back, we can. But this is what the putty looks like. So it just it takes me a long time to do these little stripies. Um, but this one is really nice. It's kind of it almost has a minty vibe, but it's it's berries and sugar sugared berries. So this is a scent that I, I'm not going to say created, but I mixed some fragrance oils to make this scent. So this one is unique to my shop and I love it and it's great. And it is, here she is. So we have those. We're bringing back chocolate fudge and this one just smells like a piece of chocolate, a chocolatey fudgy bar of goodness. So from last week, Clementine and Mint was the very first scent I had that sold out. So I am bringing this one back today. Um, I don't have, I don't think any others from last week that are restocking um, for the new scents, but we have Clementine and Mint, so you can always grab this one. But I will always bring back, though the, the Cinco de Mayo's weren't really a special release. Like I bundled them together as Cinco de Mayo, but there'll be regular scents in the shop as well. So don't worry, those will come back. But Clementine and Mint is back. And it is lovely as well. We also have creamy coconut. It's back. We're only in C's, y'all. And we only have seven minutes. <laughs> creamy coconut is back. This one's one of my favorites. Um, and the label particularly is one of my favorites. Because speaking of our wedding, our wedding was all like green palm type and uh, white flowers. And so this is like, this, this label reminds me of our wedding. So it's kind of near and dear to me. Love this scent as well. Um, I was saying that creamy coconut almost reminds me of like a nice coconut shampoo versus a suntan lotion. If you know the difference between like the coconut shampoos and the suntan, that gives me coconut shampoo vibes. Anyway, um, some older scents. It's fun bringing back these ones from like December because y'all are like, where did this come from? Um, but we have Home Sweet Home. And this one, I believe, sold out in the beginning of January and I hadn't brought it back yet. But Home Sweet Home is a Yankee Candle scent and it smells a lot like, um, like it's very cinnamony. But to me, it almost smells like a cinnamon candle that has been burning for a while, if that makes any sense. It has kind of like not a smoky note to it. Um, but it just, it, it smells a lot like the Yankee Candle Home Sweet Home Candle, but it's got like strong candle vibes versus just cinnamon, but it's really nice. Cinnamony, candly vibe. Um, on the line of florals, we have a lot of purple and white bags today, by the way. Um, but on the line of florals, we have our lavender that's coming back. So lavender is back today. That's just a nice, true lavender scent. I've got a lot of good feedback on that lavender that it's not like fakey, that it's pretty good. So I don't like the smell of lavender. So I literally wear like a respirator mask when I'm making it because I cannot handle the smell of lavender. So take, take that with what you will. <laughs> but um, we're also bringing back lemon lime soda, which is really fun. This one I think was from December or January as well. Um, this one's just got it, got a nice tart, like Sprite smell. Smells like Sprite or seven up. That's what it smells like to me. Maybe not as sweet. I did get some feedback that it was a little bit, um, that it was a little more sour smelling than sweet. Um, but I love it. Lemon lime can't go wrong. Uh, let's see how many we got left. Four left, four left. We can do it. Plum blush coming back today. 
plum blush is really nice. There's a little floral hint to it, um, but I can, I mean, I can tolerate it very easily. It's really nice. There's um, like, there's no lavender in it. I think it's just uh, uh, a nice plum scent. Uh, I definitely get the plum right up front. Like you smell the plum fruit um, and it is really, really nice. It's very pretty. And the bag is pretty too. I, I really like the bag and how this one turned out too. Um, but this one's a really pretty scent. I love it. So one random restock that I decided to do because I keep getting this one said over and over and over again, um, but I didn't put it on the, the list of voting. Um, it's just kind of a surprise is Red Hot Cinnamon. So this was uh, one of the Valentine's Day releases, but it's, it's become a regular for me. Um, the shop will be open in three minutes. So we're really close. Just have a few more scents to go through. Um, so Red Hot Cinnamon is back today. This smells just like Red Hot Cinnamon candies, like Cinnamon Red Hots, or um, like Big Red Chewing Gum. Some people said it reminded them of that. So that's what this one smells like. We have our ever so popular Unicorn Burps. It's back today. Um, this is a bestseller on the shop. It just smells like pink sugar, happiness, love, and candy vibes. It's, it's lovely. Um, if the color pink had a scent, it would be this. <laughs> um, and then, hang on. Uh, last one <laughs> coming back today is the vanilla chai. Um, I feel like a lot of people slept on this one, and it's a good one. So if you like the smell of, like, chai tea, um, another kind of cinnamony vibe, but there's a little more to it. Um, this one is really nice. Um, clove. There's a lot of clove in there. You can see the little, the little cloves in the in the label. So vanilla chai is our final one in alphabetical order, 19 cents restocking today. Um, so <laughs> I totally understand if it takes y'all a minute to do some shopping. Um, I am going to do the shop release, uh, by, you know, opening the shop back up and taking it off of vacation mode. Um, so give it just a moment. Cause sometimes, sometimes it takes a minute to like, refresh and get its crap together okay so it's two minutes to the release as i'm saying this which there's always a little delay to you guys and we're gonna open things up just ever so slightly early so that you guys can get in there and do your thing so so it should be like should it as i'm saying this it should be open now um but Take your time and don't panic if you don't see something. Make sure to, um, like if you're clicking the little side listings where they have all the, um, what do you call it? Where they have all the, the shop categories. A lot of times the new stuff or the restocked stuff does not show up in those categories right away. So just make sure you're sorting um, by uh, custom versus most recent, and then you'll see everything or you should. So if you're using the app or if you're using the main, the main page, uh, definitely I'm like, I'm looking at it to see if it's open, but we shall see. Yeah. It looks like it is available. And looks like everything is open. So we did it a little early. I'm sorry. If I can find the, if I can find my shop. Okay. Yeah, here it is. So it should all be there. If you have any issues with anything, um, the old putties, like because they were older listings and they're refreshed, they're not going to probably show up on the first page because they're old listings that are just restocked. But if I go and I click Mary Mud Scented Putty, they do all show up. So hopefully, hopefully you guys are good. But let me know if there's any issues. We always do our live customer service here for just a couple minutes. But then um, from there, I have stuff to talk about. So please make sure you don't leave because there might be a giveaway. I don't know. You might win something. You might hear about some really cool stuff that's coming to the shop soon. I don't know. So maybe don't leave yet. Because um, we have fun things and I'm excited. Anyway, um, 
And now I get to go put all of this stuff away. Um, but the nice part is, like I said, uh, there's just a lot more room here now. I'm putting everything in this little box so I don't miss anything. Y'all don't forget about the bundles. I feel like they've been forgotten lately. How's everybody doing? Is it working for y'all? Any issues, comments, questions, concerns, grievances? Everybody's, is everybody just shopping? Is that why we're so quiet? <laughs> Carol said, so many cats, I know. I'm a crazy cat lady, and cat things are so easy to find, and dog things are so hard to find. I have another pupper coming the first week of May, too. So just another note uh, for those of you still here, the shop will... I say shop closed, but I won't be restocking anything next week. I will be um, taking a break next week, and then the shop will reopen on Saturday, May 6th. Um, so Saturday, May 6th, we have lots of fun stuff coming. There's some storage options. There's um, uh, mystery pack. There, the May mystery pack will stock on May 6th. There's, there's lots of fun stuff. So we have a, a week off, which will be nice for me and for your wallets. And um, please, like I said, don't feel obligated to buy. I know we're all just geeking out over fun stuff. And I really like to show you what's coming to the shop. But then we always take some time to just chat afterwards. So, and do a little giveaway. Um, so I've, I've really been enjoying doing those giveaways now. Um, that I've like started incorporating them and adding them. Um, and I think you guys enjoy them too. It just makes things a little bit more fun. Um, anyway, I love the giveaways. I think they're a blast, but uh, what was I going to say? What was I going to say? Um, I'm just going to throw out one more plug. Um, two things. One, uh, if you guys could give this video a thumbs up while we're waiting for everybody to make their purchases, I'd really appreciate it because we have almost... We have 83 people here and only 20 thumbs up. So I'm just, just a, a nice reminder. If you could give this video a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate that. Um, and also the Facebook group. Don't forget uh, to check out the Facebook group. Um, it is called Mary Mutters Worldwide. So I'm going to just put a little, maybe I can create a banner that shows you guys. I'm like, I'm doing it right now. Join us on Facebook. <laughs> I feel so hokey doing this. But it's fun. And I'll tell you, I, I have had so much fun with the Facebook group. Um, because it's all just positivity and happiness and like feel free you guys I love to see when people's like accessories are matching and that's part of the whole reason that I do the cover minders and the putties like y'all can like match your bags and all of your good stuff to your paintings so feel free to share your whip along with your Mary Mod that might match or might not match just show me what you're working on like I love it when people post and I can't always respond to everything but I always go through and try to like everything um but yeah, so uh, if you search, uh, let's see, will it show? Yeah, Mary Mutters Worldwide is the name of the Facebook group. So just make sure you come join us there because it's so fun. It's so fun. Um, I did try to put like a little, a little something on the, um, like a little blurb to have people like call out and come order from, or order. On the order packing slips, I put a little thing that said, uh, uh, come, you know, join the Mary Mutters Worldwide Facebook group. Because I'm like, please come over. It's so fun. Uh, Tamara said she went to Marshall's by her and they didn't have that spinner storage. It's so cool, right? Well, don't worry, because we have some 3D printed ones coming soon. Um, not to my shop, but uh, I will link you guys over to uh, Bella Arjay Nicole. I really wanted to have it 
in by today to show you guys, but it's going to be a little bit, but hopefully, I don't know if uh, Nicole is still here, but Bella or Nicole, I'm going to go ahead and go into this little thing. So I reached out to Bella or Nicole because I don't 3d print things. Um, and I said, girl, can you help me? Um, I wanted to, all of the little, like, I try to find little things like this. I'll show you. I kept, I was looking all over and I kept buying things like this to try to find some putty storage. Like, but this is not wide enough for the bags of putty. Like they just don't, it almost fits, but it's just too tight. Right. And so I took some measurements and I was like, can you make a thing that's like this? that you can put slots in so that maybe you don't have enough mud to fill the whole thing, right? So it'll be similar to this, but there'll be spaces for slots. And I think she said there's gonna be three dividers in there. Um, let's see, I'm getting back to my comments. Um, so they're gonna do some 3D printed. So they have what they call an everything holder that is two slots wide. But some of us like, I mean, I know me when I'm diamond painting, I don't have a ton of space. So I was looking for just a one slot wide storage container that was the size of a pencil case because I wanted to have a few putties with me. And so um, we kind of have to do some calculations to figure out exactly how many putties it's going to hold. But, um, you know, like I said, we collaborated together and came up with something that will work. So they are 3D printing those. I think she said the price point is going to be around 21 um, but they'll have them in really fun colors and, you know, they always have lots of fun filament for stuff like this. So, um, I'm excited. I'm really excited. I, I ordered one in white and I'm excited to get it in, but it's, it, it's not here yet. Um, so, but when it is, I will, I will, uh, I will show it to you guys and I can't wait to, to, I just can't wait. I can't wait. I'm excited. So I'm like, anything else I want to tell you? Do you guys have any questions about that? Um, I'm thinking though that it will fit. I mean, if it's as long as this box, this box is about six inches long. And um, I'm like, this box fits about 30 some putties from front to back. So I think you know, it'll probably fit at least like 35 to 40 of the Merry Muds, so. Yes, Karen said, now, yes, I need storage. Love Bell, Archie, Nicole, so many trays and cover minders. Yeah, it, I love them too. And I have tons of trays and cover minders from them. And, um, oh man, lots of people got cart snatch on the little um, kitties in a cup. I can get more of those, don't worry. Um, I, I have brought those back multiple times. Um, so I will, I will bring them back. Don't worry. Um, let's see. The black thing and honey, someone card snatched. You know, it's funny because that one, like I get requests for it and I bring it in and then it doesn't sell super well. Um, so I'm surprised, but I think there were only, yeah, I think there's only, there were only two left as we started our, our journey today. Um, let's see. Cindy said, woohoo, I got everything I wanted. Need to show my Mary Mud when posting my whip picks. I always forget to show the accessories. I do the same thing, actually, because I like to take nice, clean, work in progress photos where I show, like, bits and pieces of it done. Obviously, I haven't done that because I haven't diamond painted in a long time, um, except to, like, try out new products. But, um, yeah, it's pretty wild. Uh, we have a lot of... Um, I have a lot of catching up to do at some point, but um, what's I going to say? Oh yeah. When I take the whip picks, a lot of times I'll just take my whip and I put it on the floor so I can get a really good angle on it, especially if it's larger. And then I don't think to include the accessories with that, but, um, but yeah, like show us your accessories, show us what you're working on and, you know, show us your cool trays and matching putties. And I want to see all the things. Um, Cause I love the things. I have so many trays. It's wild. Cat and cup. Got card snatched. Jen Noel says she loves the idea for storage. Can't wait to see them. Yeah. Like I think just because like I said, I, I wanted the, just the one wide because we're all, 
you know, we all need our diamond paintings out and we don't, we're all strapped for space, I feel like. So. Purple cat. Oh, everybody's like, no. Randy said she got her order and got the rainbow kitty. Yay. Jessica says she got everything she wanted. Biggest order yet. Well, yay. I'm glad. I'm glad you guys are getting what you want. Um, you know, like I said, if, if you ever don't get what you're looking for, just let me know and we will always work through it. I'm just checking on a couple things because awesome. I've got I've got your orders coming in. So if there's any time, like if you're um if you're uh what did it say? What did it say? I don't remember. Oh, if there's anything um, that you, if you have orders that you want me to combine, always let me know that too. Sharon said she got everything she wanted plus more. Carol said she only just received her first order. Girl, welcome to the addiction. Um, <laughs> I am so addicted. It's so much fun. Um, and that's why I try to like bring you guys new scents every week too, because it's just so fun. It's fun. I, I love coming up with them and trying to figure out what I'm going to do next. Um, and it's like, it's very much a weekly process at this point. Yeah. So the, the little kitty in the purple cup did sell out really fast and I'm really sorry. Um, I did have every time I order those every time, every time I order them. Um, I get them in, and a few of them are broken, like, every time. So here's the little kitty, and see that little straw? Those straws are broken off of them because they don't package them well. And so, um, yeah, I only, I like, every time I order them, I only end up with a few. And I'm like, come on, y'all. Um, but I will bring them back. Don't worry. Don't worry. They'll come back. They'll come back. The lilac cover minder must have sold out as well. I'm sorry. I try. Um, I do. I try to just split it up between the bundles and how many um, like individual cover minders. So I can always, always, always bring them back. All the accessories and the diamond paintings themselves are an addiction. Um, I did see a comment before and now I feel like I missed it. Kelly said she just happened upon me today and went over to make her first purchase and can't wait to try the putty. Well, welcome in first off. And thank you so much for, for having faith in me and trying out the product. I really appreciate it. Um, and I hope you love it. And uh, I hope it makes your diamond painting experience better because that's the whole reason. And it, the funny thing is I, I never intended to even start a shop. I, I really didn't. I had no intentions of starting it. Um, I, when I, I wanted to figure out how to make the putty myself because I wanted to just make it cheaper for myself because addiction. Well, what I ended up doing was making it more expensive for myself um, and like putting my foot in my mouth because I realized how difficult it was <laughs> to, to start making it. And so what I ended up doing when I was trying to figure out how to make it and what I liked about it and what I didn't like, I ended up spending so much money um, on that process that I was just like, I need to recoup some of this somehow. Um, which is similar to how I think like, I like Tima at over at Diamond Painting with Sparklers. She started her shop for the same reason. She was like, um, I need to recoup some of the money that I'm putting into this because I'm addicted. Um, and so that's what I did. Like I just, I wanted to open a shop. And for me, like originally I was kind of thinking it would just be a little temporary thing to get a few bucks back and like, and then share it with you guys because that, that was my intention. I was just like, I want to share this product, but I don't have the money to just like shell it out to everybody. Um, and so, you know, I started the shop with the goal in mind that it would just be affordable for you guys, that I wouldn't really be making a, a ton of profit. And I still don't make a ton of profit on the product uh, because Etsy takes out so many fees. But I'm at the point now where I am even considering opening like a Shopify store and having a limited supply on Etsy and then just having most of it on Shopify. Um, so I don't know. We'll we'll get there and we'll cross those bridges. But um, it's just funny because the shop was never something I intended to do as as big as it's become. Um, it's literally taking up half our basement now, which is just crazy. I never thought. I never I never imagined. So I owe it all to you guys and thank you from the bottom of my heart because it's been 
such a joy to do. And it's been so fun sharing things with you guys. And then I just keep buying more stuff. So I'm like, well, I guess the shop is just going to stay open. It's just, it's an institution now. I guess it's a thing. I, <laughs> anyway, um, Angelica said she got her order. We got cart snatch for the blueberry pie sample, but everything else she wanted. Awesome. Well, no worries. They'll come back. They always do. Uh, Cindy said, welcome, Kelly. Mary Mud's amazing. It's her go-to putty. Well, I am glad you love it. And uh, it is, it's just, a, a, I, there's been, there's lots of negative stuff within our community sometimes. And I think like even just starting that Facebook group has made me realize that curating our own space and creating a place where people are welcome and, and loved and, and celebrated and um, you know, et cetera. Right. That I, it's made me realize just like how wonderful you guys are. <laughs> and, and it's, it's given me an opportunity to really get to know all of you guys better. So I'm, I'm really enjoying that. So Kimberly, if you're still here, I know that you, um, you know, she helped me start that Facebook group. And I just want to say thank you because it's been, it's been a real joy because it's just, it's brought me a lot of joy whenever like yucky things start to happen or I see something negative. Um, whether it's about me or, um, you know, even about another shop or I see something negative, uh, you know, people want to come and troll in my comments, which by the way, I'm just going to throw this little disclaimer out there. Um, you're always welcome to come to me personally. And if you have a concern or a question or something's just on your mind and you don't know what information to trust, feel free to come to me and we can absolutely talk privately. Um, but, you know, when people try to come into my comments with really negative, hurtful, mean things to say, I delete them immediately because I'm not tolerating it anymore. Um, so we are not going to have that negativity in this space. It's just I'm not interested. Um, and I don't have time for it because I would rather spend my time and energy um, focusing on the shop and focusing on you guys and having a positive, wonderful place to be. So uh, that's what I feel like the Mary Mutters worldwide has become. And it's been really nice. So anyway, so whenever something bad happens or something crappy happens, I'll just like go into the Mary Mutters group and be like, remind yourself, people. <laughs> people like you. <laughs> gosh, gosh darn it. People like me. So um, yeah, it's just, yeah, I'm not happy. I'm just deleting it immediately because I'm just not, I'm not, I'm not here for it. And if, if somebody has a question or has something negative to say, you're welcome to come into my DMs and we can absolutely have an adult conversation about it. Um, but, you know, just that's it. I don't want to, I'm not going to have you in my comments being a turd, uh, because that's not how we roll here. It's just not nice. Um, I don't like unkind people. And I don't like people who judge other people when they don't know them or know what they're going through. So that's all I'm going to say about that. I just wanted to share. Uh, anyway, Tamara said that was her reasoning too. Tamara, and do you make, um, you make cover minders, right? Like, I feel like I've seen some of your stuff maybe in the diamond painting group, maybe. Um, so Tamara, do, if you have like a shop, uh, thing, feel free to send me the link and I can share it on my next live. Um, cause I, I like to support whoever I can. Um, and if I can, if, if I can, Th that is my thing, right? Like I know that there are lots of other shops that sell putties and I'm not here to take business away from them because we all have a space where we thrive and like people like different things. They like different products. They like different um, aesthetic feels. Like we all have a space in the community and you guys can purchase from whoever you want. Um, you know, I'm never going to sit here and say, don't buy X, Y, or Z because blah, blah, blah. Right. Like that's not my business to say that, um, you know, you can shop from wherever you want to. And, um, I hope, I hope I, I just took that off, but I, you know, I, I hope that you just find products that work for you and that you love, but anyway, 
Tamara said, yep, just cover mine. I'm telling you, you got to recoup the cost. But send me, do you have, if you have a shop, like link, send, send that to me and I can, I can try to share that. So uh, we can, we can do some good stuff. Um, Heather, if you make an order, there'll be a coupon code printed on your order sheet and you should get an email with a return uh, coupon code to come back to the shop. But let's see. Um, Karen says it's a wonderful group and I love it here. I, I really do. I love all of you guys. You're so wonderful. Um, we're starting to lose them people because I don't know, maybe we had some lurkers. I don't know. Um, there is, there's room for everyone. Um, and like, I, I'll never forget even, with, um, like butterfly effect wears, they're my favorite. Ones. And they started to get buddy. Does that mean stop? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. And, um, I actually did reach out to her in hopes that at some point, we can collaborate on something. And so, I don't know. We'll see if something happens there too. But um, they're one of my favorite shops. And uh, I really adore them as a couple and as a small business. So I always encourage everybody. Butterfly Effect Wears pens are, are wonderful and they're great people too. So, um, like, they started selling putty. I ain't mad. Um, so don't worry about it. Like, uh, we, don't, we don't worry about the things like, there's room for everybody. And if I always say this, and I've said this before, if we're doing our job as creators, which I'm not doing my job as a creator right now, because I have not had time to post videos to my face or to my Facebook, to my YouTube channel. I'm really desperately hoping to get back to whipping chats soon. Um, but if we're doing our job as creators and shop owners and, you know, people within the community, then we're bringing people over to diamond painting. And if we're doing that, then there's definitely room for everybody, right? There's room for all of the shops that are creating different things. Um, and yeah, like there's room for all of us because we are all providing something very different and we're all giving you guys different options and options are good because not the same thing works for everybody, right? Um, you know, I might like a tray with higher sides than, than Susan, and I might like a thinner pen than John. Like it's not right. We all have different preferences. So I, you know, just want you guys to have options, have your options, shop wherever you want. Um, but if you shop with me, I'm eternally grateful and I love it. Um, and you can also shop for me and other places because we all know we're collectors, but Hey, Cindy, poor Cindy. Cindy's like, get your crap together, girl. She's like, I know I've said it before, but I'll say it again. I do miss your whip and chest. I know. I'm working on it. I promise. Um, I am working on an arrangement with my workplace to have a little bit of time off. Um, so that's all I'll say about that. I am hoping that there will be some time for me to get back to my, my, my passion, right? Um, and as a as an ADHD, -er, I have lots of passions, and so uh, again, uh, we might might have some polymer clay cover minders slash earrings coming to the shop on May sixth. I don't know. There might be something. Um, so you know, I I really want to get back to my passion with creating and and not only making goodies, but uh, also making videos because I miss just like sitting down and, and working on a painting and talking to you guys. So we're going to get there. We're going to get there eventually, I promise. But let me see. I'm just reading. Uh, Carol said I'm waiting for coconut and forgot about the code. Just send me a message, girl. We'll get you taken care of. Um, let's see. Cat, is it Katharina or Katarina? I'm horrible at pronunciations. But she said she made a live, maybe late, but she made it. Um, much love from Canada. Well, welcome in. I'm glad you're here. Um, Tamara says she'll message me on Facebook. Awesome, girl. Do it. Uh, Heather said, okay. Um, Angelique, hearts, love you guys. You're just the best. Um, <laughs> Mary said it's a highlight every Saturday. I don't have my coffee today, though, Mary. I just got a Diet Coke. This is your reminder to hydrate if you've been, if you've not been hydrating. Ooh, it is starting to rain and there are snow flurries in the rain. I'm not here for that either. Um, Karen said she's learned to shop only from the shops that are honest and ethical. Absolutely. 
Absolutely. Um, one of the things I always pride myself in trying to make sure I do every time is if any of the international orders specifically are overstated for shipping, I will always refund you the difference always between what I what I spent for the label and what you paid. If there is a difference of more than a buck, I will refund it to you. I always do that. Mary, when is your birthday? I didn't know it was your birthday. Camera, me too. She said her craft room has stuff to make about a thousand types of crafts. Me too. I have paint by numbers, diamond painting, cross stitch galore. So much cross stitch. Uh, polymer clay, resin, wax. I'm like paint markers. The only thing I never really, really, really got into was scrapbooking. But I do have a lot of paper. Um, but Carol Walker said, what's the best way to message you? Um, Etsy is the best place to message me um, because I tend to be on there a lot dealing with like, if it's like customer service related, Etsy is the best place. So like you can, um, there's always like a little spot that you can click that says um, message, message seller or something like that. Um, if you go into your order, I think there might be like a help request in there. You could do that to message me. Um, but there's, there's a couple ways on Etsy. So if you, if you can't find it, just let me know. Um, and I can always help you elsewhere. Um, maybe on Instagram as well. So Carol says she'll try. She's new to Etsy. Just poke around. You should find it. Um, if you go to my page, there should be some place you can click. This is message buyer. I think, um, I'm about to look because now I'm like, or I'm not buyer, seller. Yeah. So if you go to my page on a computer, at least right underneath my, my screen, like my name on the top, right, it says contact and you can write me a message there very easy. So um, Katarina says she has a shipping questions. Can she do multiple items in one order to save on shipping or is the quoted shipping for each item? Um, you can add multiple items. It'll add a couple cents to your cart each time that you add an item. But um, if, if your label, like sometimes with the Canadian orders, like once it jumps over, over, like I have to put a weight for each item. So if I ship an item by itself, it might be one ounce. But then as I add things, it's not a full ounce but I have to quote it as a full ounce on the item. So it'll add things to your cart and pretend it's heavier than it is, if that makes sense. And so at some point it'll say like, oh, there's eight items, it's eight ounces and it'll quote you more for shipping, but it actually ends up being five ounces and it's not as much for shipping. So I will always, 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 if you end up paying, let's say, I know, I think you said, did you say Canada? Like if you end up paying 20 something US dollars for shipping, it is usually never more than like 15 or six, I think it's 16, somewhere in there. It's usually around 16 bucks for US dollars for shipping. So I always refund that difference. So if you end up paying more, don't worry about it. It'll come back to you. Um, and then also if you were to place separate orders, I always re I, I will combine them as well and, and refund you. But the easier way is just to refund you the one time on your main order. So if, if your shipping jumps up from something, you know, from 15 bucks all the way up to, to out of 25, don't worry. It will, um, I will refund you because it, it's never, it, it, the only time it's ever cost me more than 15 is when I shipped a huge group order to Canada. Um, because that was pretty heavy. So, um, anyway, anyway, let me get back to the comments. I'm like, I'm on a totally different tab now. Um, <laughs> my brain's on a million tabs. Speaking of tabs, let me, um, I need to find the stream yard giveaway and we should do that. Um, let's do a giveaway before we end our day. What should our giveaway be? Ooh, you know what? It, it was a topic today. So let's do hashtag kindness. Kindness is important. 
Hashtag kindness. So if you put that in the comments, all you have to type is hashtag kindness. And I will share this with you in just a moment. Um, if you type hashtag kindness in the comments, then um, you'll be entered to win a $15 giveaway to my shop. $15 coupon code. Um, let's see. I'm behind. Um, oh, Mary said her birthday's tomorrow. Girl, I did not know. Ugh. Well, I owe you a birthday card, girl. Um, I'm behind. Ooh, did it. Awesome. Well, I will try to respond to you here soon, shortly after the live. I, I usually, after the live, I always try to, um, what was I going to say? After the live, I always try to uh, what was I say? respond to all the customer service questions. <laughs> Um, Sherilyn, that's a good question. Let me, I don't remember what we said the rules were. I know you can do in search of and trades. I haven't decided how I feel about D stashes, but I'm fine with the in search ofs and the trades. I feel like the D stashes would like maybe clutter things up or make me nervous. I don't know. We should talk about that. We'll talk about it. We'll figure out how we're going to do it. But but definitely if you're in search of a scent and you want to trade one with somebody, I do want to encourage that. So Because sometimes you get something in and you're like, I don't love this. Um, let's see. I do know that um, Larissa posted right at the very beginning of the um, group that she was uh, in search of a trade because she has jasmine and it is like a floral scent that she's not crazy about. So let me try to present this um, tab. Share screen. I want to share a tab with you guys and it's only the one. Is it sharing is my question. Yes, I think it is. So it looks like we have 40 entries so far to the giveaway. So we'll keep that open for just a couple more minutes. And then we'll do the giveaway before we head out of here. I'm tired. Um, if you are watching this on replay, by the way, um, welcome in. I'm glad you're here and I'm glad you stuck around this long. If you would like to uh, leave a little comment down in the comments below, that you're watching the replay. I'd love it. And um, let me know what your favorite restock scent was today. That'd be fun. Um, I like to know. Um, anyway, so hashtag kindness. If you can hear me right now, make sure you enter that into, um, into the comments on the live and you'll be entered for a $15 coupon code to the Etsy shop. Um, Spice is back down at my feet again. And so I'm petting him. Give him some love. We're all my workers and my lurkers hanging out. Where are you guys? I see you. I see you. You're coming in. Kennedy said, I want to order things, but the shipping made me nervous. I know. And it will, in Canadian dollars, it always looks like a lot more than 15 bucks, too. I think it ends up being 20 something Canadian. So. But if it, yeah, if it jumps up, if it jumps up by more than like five or $10, it's probably because that shipping is overstated and I, I will refund you. Heather said, ordered a few cover minders. Sorry, I hope my postman doesn't get stuck in his truck. Canadian dollar when it's insane. I know it always like whenever I see the Canadian dollar orders, I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. I got the dings coming in. Okay. A couple more minutes on the giveaway. We have 67 watching and 49 entries. 49 entries. Mm. what's everybody doing this weekend? I'm like, what's everybody up to? What are we doing? I'm, we are going to go through all that wedding stuff and decide what we're keeping and what we're getting rid of. So that's on the agenda today. Um, and then tomorrow, 
will be a full day of packing orders. Um, Nicole, you're here. I was talking about the storage system earlier, um, but I don't know if you if you hopped out at some point and you're back. But welcome back. Um, I was talking about the storage system and and giving you some hype. Uh, and I was I was letting you know I was like I messaged your customer service. Um, but anyway, uh, as soon as I get that though, we will. I'll show it to you guys live, and we can we can get stoked. But I think they are releasing it this coming Tuesday, so. Uh, you should be able to purchase it from them really soon. But yeah, if you could give this video a thumbs up. Um... Uh, Jessica, thank you. She said, international here, wanted to weigh in on the shipping costs. Definitely seems like a lot. She'll refund if, if it's over. So go ahead and place. You won't be disappointed. Thank you. Ooh, have to go to Georgia tomorrow for mediation for a wreck. Ooh, yeah, that's great. So... Um, Bella and Nicole is going to show the, um, the putty and everything holder on their live today. And it is releasing on their shop on Tuesday. So, uh, two 30 is the time of her live where I'm at central time. I believe it's two 30 central time. So, um, what was I going to say? Uh, so they'll show it on their live. So make sure you tune in to the Bella Arte Nicole live to check that out. I'm excited. I'm going to try to tune in. I My Saturdays end up like every time I, I finish these lives, I either go to bed because I haven't slept the night before or I'm super busy with my mom and I, I keep missing the, the Bella Arte Nicole lives and I'm really sad about it. But I will try to hop in there at some point today because I really want to I want to see the buddy older, um, <laughs> but also because I miss your lives and I really like them. Um, cause there's a really wonderful group of people over there as well. So, uh, highly encourage it, but alrighty. I think we have all of our entries, uh, for the giveaway. And, uh, I think it's about time to, to do our giveaway. Uh, we've got our 49 entries and I think it's time. Are y'all ready? So just an FYI, if you win the giveaway today and you ordered today, I can always just retroactively refund the cost of the um, the fifteen dollars to you. Um, otherwise, if you want to save it for later and get a code, just let me know. So the best place to message me after you get win the giveaway is on Etsy, um, but you could also email me. It's just my first dot last name at gmail.com. So um, I will be happy to share that later. Uh, but are we ready? Let's do the giveaway. We're going to draw it right now. It always slows down and you think you're going to win and then it doesn't happen. Who is winning? Oh my God. Okay. So Brandy, congratulations. Uh, you can message me uh, on Etsy or on Instagram. I think we have talked on Instagram many a times before. So feel free to message me there. Um, and like I said, if you... Um, if you ordered today, I can refund you. Otherwise, you can save it for later as well, whatever you'd like to do. So, Brandy, congratulations, girl. I'm glad you won. Um, she said, oh, my God. <laughs> but, and you're still here. That's awesome. So, I'm going to, let me turn off my giveaway. I'm going to stop sharing. There we go. I'm back. Um, so, congratulations, girl. I'm excited for you. And um, I'm like, what else? What else do we have? What else is happening? I think that's about it. Um, I did kind of want to go show you a little bit of the space, but I'm a little messy right now. And I'm like, I kind of want to show it to you when it's all cleaned up. But basically just giving you a quick, um, okay, yeah, 130 Mountain, 230 Central, 330 Eastern. So it, that is the Bell Arte Nicole Live. So um, anyway, so we have... This is Putty Central over here. So over to the left of this is kind of where I, well, I say left because this is my left. Um, but over here, I have this really cool um, station and it's a whole separate table. Before I used to pack orders and make the putty all on one eight foot long table. That's all I had in the other room. So I've got a big like thing over here to make all of the putties. I have to show this to you guys because it's exciting. Um, so 
I'm just gonna set it here so you can really see. So these are all the mica powders that I used to color the putty. And I found this to store all my micas and it is delightful. So I'm gonna get a few more of those. It's like a, it's like a nail polish cosmetics rack, but um, we are using it for mica powder. But I'm gonna get a few more of these to store some fragrance oils as well. But um, <laughs> she said I was Google for whatever time zone it is because she forgets them. But yeah, isn't this cool? So now I like, I finally, these were all in a cardboard box. And whenever I needed a color, I was digging through a cardboard box to find it. And then I was having to put the cardboard box away. There was no room anyway. So this is just, it's lovely. And then up on top of this workbench. So we built this um, whole workbench. I got this on Amazon. Um, I can link it for you if you'd like. Um, if you give me just a moment, I can link it because it's awesome. It's like really great for cosmetics and stuff too. Um, I will grab the link for you and I'll, I'll post it in the comments so you can, you can live your life. It's awesome though. I like it. It went together pretty easily. Like it wasn't tough to, um, like it wasn't tough to assemble or anything. It came together really, really fast. Um, it wasn't cheap. It wasn't crazy expensive either, though. I can find it. I'm trying to look at how much. It was 35, 35 bucks. This is, that's not too bad. They have a three-tier one, and then there's also a five-tier one. That's almost, that's 47. So let me grab the link. Maybe. Copy link. Link copied. I do spin it a lot. <laughs> Here's the link for the, the thing. Anyway, did I put it in there? Yeah, it's in there. Um, but yeah, I spin it a lot because everything's sorted by color. How fun is that? It's delightful and it spins so nice and easy. But anyway, so over here on this, I, I have a little press over there that I use to help me do the putty. And then up top, these little baskets I use to pack orders. So I'll grab your, um, you know, your whatever mailer I need and or a box. And I put the um, your packing slip right in one of those bins. And then we grab all the stuff for the order and toss it in the bin. And then I come over here and pack it later. Um, so yeah, we got whole, the putty stations way over there. And then obviously all the inventories behind me. Um, we have our electric panel that I want to cover. Um, but then if I turn this over, I've got, I'm like trying to show it to you. So this is my whole like order packing station over here. So I have some socks that I didn't put on. Um, but these are all the things I showed you on the live today, but, um, some samples over there. So your orders kind of live over here until I pack them. Um, yeah. And then we've got, you know, the window up there. It's pretty great. And yeah, so I sit here and I pack all your orders and it's just, I don't know, the whole thing's been really great. It's been really nice to have some space again and it's lovely. And we're, we're going to put all of the oils also on a, um, let me say on, on racks that are going to be on the walls and then, uh, on a couple of these. So Hopefully, guys, I have over 400 bottles of fragrance oil because I have a shopping problem. I have to show you one other thing, too, because it's pretty wild. So I'm going to wheel it in right here, and hopefully you'll be able to see it. So I'm going to turn this this way, put you down a little bit. All your goodie bags are down in there. And then give me just a second. Okay, we're getting it. Boom. We have this whole big cart. And this whole big cart. <laughs> it, it comes down very far. It's big. It's big. These are all of the cover minders for, that I want to release at some point. So there's tons and tons of them. All in little bins. <laughs> and um, it's pretty wild. 
it's pretty crazy. So yeah. Um, I have so many little things and some of these things I've had even like almost since I opened the shop, but I like get other things in that I'm more excited about. And then these just like go to die here, but like y'all, I can't, I can't. How cute is this for spring? We'll do this one soon, but you could technically use this as a trash drill minder too. Cause it's open. Anyway, I love it. Um, not a great angle for me, but at least you can see what I'm talking about. So many cover minders, but this thing has like 70 something bins and it's rollable. So I can roll it in when I want to use it and out when I don't. So it is so fun. Anyway. Um, yeah. So many things. Um, oh, you know what else is coming May 6th? We have a lot of stuff. Um, let me move these. Okay. May 6th. For those of you who are still here and want to get all the good info. And then I'm going to head off here after, after I share this. So May 6th is going to be uh, the start of the Zodiac series. So I am doing a special scent for each Zodiac that you can purchase on its own or with a cover minder. I'm going to say this one time and I'm only going to say it one time. <laughs> the Zodiacs will not be restocked. They're a special thing. We'll do them again next year, but for this year, I'm only doing a certain amount of them because it's too hard to keep up with in each of them. I have my own little recipe for each one of them. And so I was trying to decide, do I want to go in order? Do I want to do a specific thing? And then what I decided I'm going to do. So the, the washing machine cover minder is also coming soon. Um, I do have a bunch of them here. I'm trying to decide if I want to make them as people order them because I don't know. I never know how many I should do on their backs and how many I should do upright. And I don't want to do too many of one and not enough of another and upset people because there's different colors. And so what I think I'm going to do is list them and you might have a little bit of a longer order time because I will have to, I will have to make them with the magnet in the right place for you. So you'll have an option to choose. Um, so what I'm going to do for the Zodiac series is be kind of tough to explain, but for every, for every month that we have, there's usually three weeks of the shop releases, two weeks of new stuff, a third week of restocks. And then the fourth week I have off. Um, so lots of my thought. So what I'm going to do for the Zodiac series, since there are 12 of them, we're going to do two a weekend uh, starting May 6th. So there'll be two on May 6th, two on May 6th plus 7th, 13th, I guess. I don't know. I got to see the, I see the calendar to like in my, so April, yeah. So two on May 6th, two on May 13th, and two more with the restocks on the 20th. Then in June, we'll do it again. So it'll be a two-month series. There'll, there'll be two Zodiacs each week. And what I thought it'd be really fun to do, though, is to – can I find you guys? There we go. Is to draw on the week prior. We'll draw the next week's releases from a thing. Like, it'll be random. So – I would like to do a drawing to do all of those, like to pick from one of the 12. Um, and we'll do that next week to decide which ones are going to come out on the sixth. Does that make sense? Um, because I was like, I don't want to be unfair. I don't want to do it in a weird order, but then I don't want to do it in the exact order because then people have to wait for a specific day. And I was like, you know what? We're going to do it random, but I'm going to make a certain amount of them. Some of them will be paired with a, a matching cover reminder and other ones won't, but it's all I'll have of them until we do the series next year. So that'll be a good opportunity, I think, if you missed one of them, to, like, do a trade within the Facebook group as well. Um, so, yeah. Um, but if you do, like, sell anything, please do not sell it for more than, than the listing cost. But anyway, 
let me go back up. Um, <sighs> Cindy said she just wants Aquarius. Um, time and painting voice. Can you get little flower pots? Um, I have some little flower pot cover minders releasing on May 6th, and I can't show them to you because one of my friends, uh, my friend who helps me with the shop, she took them back to her place and she's gluing them. So I don't have them, but they're cute and they're little flowers in a pot. Um, they're like bendy, like they're like a little artificial flower and it's 3D in it. It's, it's cute. So Katarina, feel free if you want to wait. Um, uh, yeah, so I think it's fair to do a drawing, right? And to pick the, the ones for the next, uh, the next week. But yeah, so next week on the live, we'll do, um, you know, a random spinner wheel and it will tell us which ones are coming out on May 6th. Along with the mystery pack. We got a lot of stuff coming on the 6th, so to be fun and it'll give me a break too to kind of like regroup and get things back together um so the shop i think the last time i just kept the shop open and just like if there were orders that came in great otherwise um but i'll probably like i'll close it i'll probably close the shop down by like probably may 3rd or 4th to give me some time to start the listings and stuff um and what I realized I did miss is uh, May the 4th, like May the 4th be with you. Um, so Star Wars Day. I do have a few Star Wars cover minders that are coming, but they will be released on the 6th as well. So I missed it. I'm sorry. I did not plan ahead. I did not plan ahead. Um, but it's okay. Anyway, um, yeah, I think I'm going to head off here. But if you would, on your way out, please, please, please give this video a quick thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. We have 54 thumbs up now. So thank you so much. Um, and yeah, everybody's excited about their sign, right? Um, so yeah, hopefully, you know, I'm going to do the same amount of each one of them. And once they're gone, I won't be restocking them, but we'll always bring them back next year. Um, but yeah, I'm excited about them. It's going to be fun. Uh, they're really pretty. They're going to be, they're going to have a really sparkly label. And they're going to be in really pretty iridescent bags. And I've been looking forward to it forever. So I'm excited. Anyway, I hope you guys have a really great weekend and a really great day. And that you got everything you wanted. If you submitted a customer service request, I'll do the best I can to get back to you today. Um, yeah, I'll be packing orders all day tomorrow. So get your orders in today. And uh, it'll go out on either Monday or Tuesday. So anyway, all righty. I love you guys. I hope you have a really wonderful weekend and I will see you next week. Even though we don't have a shop release, I'll still be live. So anyway, have a good one. Love you. Bye.